Hello everyone, I'm Colin Cadet. I guess today's topic must be trending because I've had a number of people asking me uh, if I use salt when I'm gluing a couple of boards together to prevent them from moving around, does the salt weaken the joint? And I've never done that, although I've heard about it for years and years, but I don't know because I've never tested it. So today we're going to test that and see if salt does weaken the joint. In fact, I've got a couple of other products we're going to test as well. So stick around and let's have a look at the results together. So the grits I want to use today, uh, ordinary table salt, and you can see how fine it is. The second product is actually a very fine white rock, uh, and they use it as an anti-slip when you're painting steps, for example. Uh, and you can sprinkle this on so that you don't slip when the steps are wet. And the last one is just a, a sifted play sand, uh, and you can see that it's quite a bit coarser. You can see I've got all these little blocks here and I've got them all labeled as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them all to this long board here. And if you look closely, you'll notice there's a little notch out of them. And the purpose of that notch is so that I can use my hammer. And what I'm going to do after the glue is dry, and I'm going to give it 24 hours to dry, I'm going to see if I can pry that apart. Now, I've taken enough, apart enough glue joints in my lifetime that I know that when you glue two pieces together and leave it for 24 hours, um, you can't pull that glue apart. It actually starts tearing the wood apart. So, it's, it's only one way of testing, but it is one way of finding out whether these, any of these products work. Okay, these are dry now. Let's take a minute and take this all apart. Okay, so here's the worst joints. These are the play sand, uh, and it was the coarsest. And you can barely see a line there uh, on, on either one of these. Uh, this was that fine white sand, uh, and again, it turned out very good. You can you can't even really see a line on that one. So those are the worst ones uh, and they get better from there on in. So I'm pretty impressed how that is. But let's have a look and see how well the glue is holding. Uh, so I'm just going to start off by using my hammer and this is the straight glue joint and I want to show you what just a straight glue joint looks like to begin with. And I don't even know how easy or how difficult it's going to be to break that off of there. turning out to be more work than I thought. <clears throat> okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Look, the glue has held better than the wood. So what's broken off is wood. A little bit down here is between the wood, the two woods, but most of this is wood. So that's good. Let's try the other one. And the same thing there, you can see that the wood has failed before the glue. So that's what we want to see. Now let's go look at the play sand. So this was the coarsest sand and I didn't think this would work very well at all. So let's have a look and see. And it looks, look at that again. The glue, even with the coarsest sand, you can see how it's torn up the glue. Let's have a look at the fur. Same thing. 
Well, they're only going to get, they're only going to show the same from here and then you can actually see in there, you can actually see little bits of the grit from place to place. So I'm just going to carry on with the rest of these. This is the fine white sand. And again, the wood has failed. Same with that one. And now the salt. So let's see if the salt has actually affected how well the glue sticks. No, it hasn't. It's just torn all the wood. Well, that's interesting. It did cut through the, um, right down to the wood, um, but it still tore some of the wood, so. Okay, here's one more time uh, with just a light sprinkling of salt. Now remember the first one, um, the glue broke, most of it broke right at the glue line, uh, and you can see a tiny bit of the salt there. But I wanted to test it again because that was a whole purpose of this, so let's have a look and see how this one's going to snap. Okay, so that's kind of what I expected. Um, I, maybe the clamp wasn't uh, as tight on that one as it needed to be, but that has just pulled all of the um, wood out. So the glue, even with salt on there, uh, it's held very finely. So, Well, that concludes my video for today. And of course, the original question many of you had asked me is when I'm gluing joints, if I use salt as an, an, an anti-skid material to stop the boards from moving, will the salt weaken the glue joint? And all of my tests are showing that no, it doesn't seem to make any difference. Uh, and I used some other products and they worked just as well. So there's lots of different choices that you can do. Um, the only difficulty I found was in sprinkling the material on and a little bit more open time for the glue. Um, so for me, I think for the most part, I'll stick to my old tried and true techniques and there's lots of different ways to stop wood from moving around when you're gluing it. So do whatever works best for you. I'm Colin Cadet for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.